Alright, so YouTube, this is Mr. Cobra 55 uh, here again with Let's Play Spyro the Dragon. Now, in between this video and the last one, I realized I forgot to save, so I had to go back and do everything again. So I am missing a few things that I had gotten earlier, so I don't think many people would have noticed, but you know, even with the 25 of you that have watched this video, somebody would have gone, Hey, wait a second. This guy, he, uh, he, he missed that one, er, he, he got that one gem earlier, and now he did this is it. He, he must be faking it. I, I don't think that's actually how any of you sound, but that's just my alternate voice. So, anyway, in this video, I'm gonna go through the level Stonehill. Um, this is another early level, and, uh, another pretty short one. It's a really cool looking level, but all the levels in this game are. So, you got these big one sheep over here. And pretty much the same as the last level. You gotta go through, get all these gems. You got sheep to kill for butterflies. You can charge or flame those rams. And then always check the wells in this game. There are always stuff in the wells. So let's see what he has to say. Watch the dragonfly Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. Like me. Uh, sure. Alright, so I've mentioned that in the last video. Uh, about yeah, how your dragonfly works, and he can eat butterflies. So let's see here. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I'm gonna run down this one. Or up it, actually. Woo! Again, it's you didn't see my last video, I said this already, I tend to shout random things when I'm playing video games. And more often than not, those things are squares, but I'll, I'll try to keep it down, because I'm actually playing for a audience this time. Path of you freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger, it'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya. It's gonna be me when I'm 70. Anyway, and by more often than not, there's swears, I mean by about... 80 to 95% of the time there's swears. So, I've been kicked out of more than one person's house for swearing up a storm. Shepherds, I don't exactly know why they're going after me. Maybe because I'm killing the sheep for butterflies. That might have something to do with it, but if it moves, you gotta kill it. Except for your dragonfly, you don't want to kill that. Not not a good idea. Um nope. Now I heard him earlier. And I don't know if any of you picked up on him, but there was a little thief guy. That na 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 na. I mentioned dragon eggs earlier in here to get 100%, and they just kind of carry those around. And you got to chase them down and kill them for the dragon eggs. And they're just a little bit slower than you, so they're pretty hard to catch. Spyro, my friend, how about a hint on gliding? You bet! For the longest glide, press the X button at the top of a jump, and try pressing the triangle button to drop down in mid-flight. Alright, so is it just me or is his name Clytus? I don't know, I'm not going to watch him again, but I'm pretty sure his name was Clytus. Kind of a bad pun there. So let's go see if I can find that damn it, thief. Alright. Go 
back into the whirlwind here and um where do I need to go from here? Right there. Alright, I'm getting used to the third and second one where hitting triangle would make you hover and fly higher for just a little bit. In this one you just drop straight down. And there's the thief. Let's go. Alright, that guy was pretty slow, but in later levels they get a lot faster. So here's some more chests. Those dragon eggs, I don't remember what they do. I just remember that you need them. Uh, the number one tip for playing this game is explore everything. I mean, the worlds get just enormous in here. Not quite Skyrim big, but, well, not even close. But for a platformer, they're, they're pretty damn big. Um, now, according to that, I need a lot more gems. So let's uh, go see if we can find them. Now, down that well, we already have the chest, so there's a few down there. I just need to find the key for that. Alright, so here we go. Here's some more gems. Again, to go up by the whirlwind. Now, the worlds in Spyro are just beautiful. I mean, this is a PlayStation game, but it looks amazing. Granted, I am using an emulator, but on my computer, which is pretty old, it usually just makes things look worse. So, there we go. And occasionally you find these huge rooms like this. Now the gems are color-coded, if you haven't caught that. Red are worth one. Green are two. Yeah. Blue are five. Yellow are ten. And purple are twenty-five. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. Okay, yes I did actually check the memory card on the emulator to see if it had saved. It did not. So I don't know what was up with that. So I forgot a save state and it didn't save regularly. So that's why I had to go back and get a few things. And then after that I turned around and hit load state instead of save state so I had to do it again. Isn't that fun? But it seemed to have worked now. Okay. No, I should probably go find that key. And I apologize for just kind of randomly running around. It's been a while since I've played this game. Yay, invisible force fields. Who doesn't love those? Except everybody that I know of. Always fun to see if you can get past them, which you can't. But it's fun to try. Alright. Let's go see if we can. There we go. Yeah, they like to hide gems in random places that no one would ever think to look. Like right there. Um, I think I've already checked this, but I'm gonna go and check it again. Oh yeah, I've I've been here. Um, let's see. Too bad this isn't live and I can't hear you because I might be able to take suggestions. I probably shouldn't have said that. But, oh well. Um, still looking. Still looking and I still feel really weird about talking to myself like this, but... Again, this is a Let's Play video, so not much I can do about that. 
And yes, I'm doing live commentary here. Some people like to do it uh, after everything's recorded, just so that they know what to talk about and there won't be awkward silent spots. But I think it's a little bit more interesting just to do it live. To see kind of what's going through exactly as you run through your head. I mean, I'll edit a few things out if I say something really bad, but... That, that's gonna get edited out, but not the part that I'm talking about editing it out. Just so that you guys can try and guess, see what I said. All 25 of you. Alright, so I cannot seem to find this key. Other than that, I'm pretty much set for this level. Did I get it already? I don't think so. Alright, I'm gonna go check to see if I got that already. And did it. Nope. I did not get that. Okay, so I might not be uploading a video tomorrow. Watashi wa Nihon go o Ikite Maskara. Um, and I don't know if I said that right, but I'm pretty sure I just said for those of you who don't speak Japanese, because I need to go to my Japanese class, so, uh, yeah, and it's four hours long, right after school, well, not right after school, but just after school, and I probably have a job interview, so I'm gonna be pretty busy, who knows, I might have time after class to do it, I've been doing these pretty late at night. Alright, so I just got the key, and now time to go get that treasure chest. Boom! 200. Alright, so now that I have 100% list level, I will go to the exit. Yes, I have really bad navigational skills. That's been pointed out quite a few times by different people. But, uh, I guess we're done with this episode of Let's Play Spyro the Dragon. So, see you either tomorrow or whenever I upload the next video, which could be at any time within the next three days. Alright, something just satisfying about chasing these guys down. Alright, well, uh, I guess I'll see you then and pick up right where I left off. See ya.